Hello and welcome back to Love Advice TV. This is coach Alexandre Cormo, the big man that came all the way down to do these videos tonight. I'm so, so, so excited and I'm picking his brain and asking all sorts of questions for you at home to be able to be as prepared as possible in this breakup recovery process. And one of my favorite clients, a young lady who lives in the Netherlands who, that I've been helping out, um, is in a situation where she broke up with a long-term boyfriend and they have been sleeping together. And I've actually advised her to go ahead and it would be okay for them to sleep together because her partner was seeing someone else. And I thought that it was a good way for them to be able to rekindle and to make sure that, you know, they would keep and maintain that bond. And I, I love her so much that I want her to also um, get your insights on this situation. Is it a good idea to sleep with an ex? And in what situation should you absolutely not sleep with an ex? And I know that so many of you around the world will get valuable insights here. Um. This is why I love the process of getting married with an ex, and this is why I love my job, because there is no one solution, you know? There is not one magical path to get back with the one that you love. And can we sleep with an ex? Yes and no. It depends of your relationship, it depends of the situation. So I will respond to the question, why, when I should never like sleep with my ex? Mm -hmm. And if, it, if you're not in this situation, I feel that you can sleep with your ex, right? Mm -hmm. But if your ex is taking you for granted, mm. you should never, never, never sleep with your ex. This is the most important point because we use sex as a tool to reconnect emotions, to reconnect also your relationship, your chemistry. Because when you share sex, a real good sex with your partner, it's like incredible incredibly positive, right? Absolutely. But if it's just your ex is calling you at 10 and said, oh, I want to sleep with you, and at 11 you are there, and at 2 you leave the apartment, that yeah. makes no sense. This is not why we fight. We fight for real love. We don't fight for... A booty call. Yeah, like what we say, casual sex. Yeah, casual sex, a booty call. Or what? Okay, sorry for that. <laughs> That's all good. That's what in the US we call a booty call. And it's such amazing insights you cannot be at your ex's mercy mm -hmm. you cannot just out of weakness and desperation throw yourself at them to please them in the hope that they that will somehow you know inspire them to take you back just like in everything that is related to this process you have to do so from a position of strength you have to do so with a plan you can't just wing it you can't just decide to have sex because all of a sudden, you know, you felt like it and then decide was it a good or bad idea. You need to have a plan. And if it's structured, if it's thought out, in certain cases, having sex with an ex is actually the best thing that you can do for the breakup recovery process. And I ask my coaches to do one thing. If you want to have sex, it should be the best time of your life. This is so important. So just release your false belief, be confident, go because sex is just the best way to share to each other, right? This Absolutely. is so important. If it's just having sex because for you it's like, I'm not losing him or her, this is not right. Mm. Absolutely right. So specifically when an, uh, the person that you it's are with is, is dating someone else, okay? Um, sometimes it's coming after a marriage, Sometimes it's a short relationship. Do you feel that you should always try to have sex if you can? Or are there certain situations where you feel like, you know what, may not be a good idea? I would say the same answer. For me, it's, it's a good point to have sex. But if your exit is taking you for granted, for example, I have this new relationship, but maybe sometimes I want to, you know, have sex with you. This is not right. Like, because I will say that getting back with an ex, it's... It's so like a relationship of power also. Mm -hmm. So it's do you have the power or do he or she has the power? And this is the real question. So if your ex is with someone else, this is good to have sex, but not if you're like asking for sex. Sure. So how do you know if your ex is taking you for granted or not? 
Because I know that this is the follow-up question coming up. So, you know, it is what we call beauty cool. If, if it's he or she is just asking you for sex, you will feel it because there is no other communication, there is no real respect. And most of the people that I'm coaching, they said, yes, but my ex, you know, my ex called me and asked me question. I was feeling that he or she wants to get back with me. So I asked, I was okay for sex. So your partner is taking you for granted if you are always having sex when there is a communication. Hmm. So it's, it could not be one-on-one, -on -one, you know, it's not like one communication, sex. It should be, we are talking, we can do a date, we can do something, and maybe one time there is sex here. Absolutely. This beautiful. is not taking for granted. Sure. So yeah, it can't just be a booty call, plain old booty call for those of you who are in the U.S. There needs to be more. There needs to be uh, some sort of leverage. They need to fight for you. They need, there needs to be consideration there if you're going to go down this path. And just on a note, we are not encouraging people to be promiscuous. We understand that sex is a very, very important thing. Important thing, and in many ways, um, it's something that should be cherished and not taken lightly at all. Okay, and I felt that it was very important to say this, but just to put things in their context. Most of the time, when I do recommend to certain people to go for it, it's coming out of long-term relationships with someone that sometimes you have kids with or you've been with together for multiple years. This is your partner. In essence, you are a, you are a union. You are still very much a unit, even though you have broken up. And then they are on a rebound, dating someone else for a few weeks, for a month, casually. It's a very different scenario than just you know, suggesting to just go out and sleep with someone random that you meet on the street. So, as always, of course, don't do something that goes against your moral code and your values. If you're not comfortable with sleeping with your ex because they're with someone else, don't do it just because you want to get them back. If you're not comfortable with it, stay true to your values because you're not going to feel good and you're not going to win them back if you don't feel good. And I needed to make sure that we clarify this. Yeah, and if you're not feeling good, that could not be the best time of your life. So sure. there is many ways to get back with the one that you love. It's not using sex, it's rebuilding the chemistry, which is, oh, this is the one that I love. This is what we want from your ex. This is not just having sex. We think that sex is under love for me in my philosophy. Absolutely right. It's about recreating a bond. And that's what we're all about. So. As always, please, if you enjoyed this video, tell us why. Tell us what you got out of it. What did you learn? Fuel our fire. Ask follow-up questions. We will be here, as always, to answer your questions. And like Alex said, remember that there is a million and one ways to win back the heart of the one you love. You have to find the right way for you. And in private coaching sessions with us, we can tell you what the right roadmap is for your specific situation. If you read some other places on the internet that there's only one way and that one way works for every single person, mm -hmm. it'll be probably BS. And I'm just letting you know that. So use your brain. Make sure that it makes sense to you, whatever your plan of action is. Trust yourself and good things will happen. Thank you so much for this energy and all this advice. And Please, just interact with us. We love you guys and we wish you the best. Keep fighting the good fight and see you soon. Bye-bye, guys.